Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic expressions, we are going to take up two challenges. First one is A, B, C, D is known to us given. We have to find out the product of A, B, C and D. Second question is if A, B, C non-zero real numbers and A plus B plus C zero, then we have to evaluate the given expression. So let's get started with question number one. I will begin with reconsideration of A. How we can consider it? So it is root 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4. If you will see the B, it is root 2 plus root 3. So let me write A in that term. Root 2 plus root 3. And then I will write root 1 plus root 4. Because no sign change, so no constraint. Now B. If you will see B, then it is perfect root 2 plus root 3 then I will write minus common root 1 plus root 4 you can check root 1 and root 4 is negative in B but positive in A now if I will consider here A I will consider here B so it is A plus B and this one is A minus B if I will take product of A and B then it would be a plus b times a minus b. Let me write here a plus b times a minus b. So I will use difference of two squares a square minus b square. What is a root 2 plus root 3 whole square? What is b root 1 plus root 4 whole square? Let's expand a plus b whole square formula identity so a plus b whole square is a square so 2 b square so 3 2 ab so 2 root 6 minus let us put bracket over there a square so 1 b square so 4 2 ab so 2 times root 4 let me write one time now you can see 2 and 5 2 and 3 is 5 1 and 4 is 5. So cancel both because minus sign in between. What is left? 2 root 6 and what is root 4? This is 2. So 2 times 2, this value is 4. So I will write 2 root 6 minus 4. This is our AB. If I will take 2 common again. So AB will be equal to 2 times root 6 minus 2. This is our A and B. Now come to C and D. If you will see what is the difference between C and D, sign change in root 2 and root 3 both. So what I will write here, let me demonstrate. Root 1 plus root 2, root 4. Then I will write minus root 2 minus root 3. This is my C. And if I will write my D, then it will become root 1 plus root 4 and then plus sign root 2 minus root 3. You can check all four values. Okay. Now you can see same task. If I will consider this is my C and this is my D, then again we can see here this is equal to small c plus a small d and this is equal to small c plus a small d. Why I am calling small? Because capital is given in the problem left hand side. So if I will write C times D caps equal to C plus D, C minus D. Oh, C plus D, first one is C minus D. So I will write C minus D. Okay, so it will come out C square minus D square. Let's put the value. Root 1 plus root 4 whole square minus root 2 minus root 3 whole square. Let us apply the formula a plus b whole square now. So a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Let us apply a square so 1 b square so 4 2ab so 2 times root 4 minus a square so 2 b square so 3 minus 2ab. So I will write 2 times root 6. 
now again you will see 5 5 so what is left 2 root 4 minus so minus times minus becomes plus 2 root 6 2 root 4 root 4 is 2 so it is 4 plus 2 root 6 or if I will take 2 common then it is 2 plus root 6 what was our AB it was 2 times root 6 minus 2 so let me write here AB was 2 times root 6 minus 2 now let's consider the product the complete product of ABCD a b c d equal to a b was 2 times root 6 minus 2 and c d is 2 times root 6 plus 2 take the product of 2 and 2 4 root 6 minus 2 root 6 plus 2 i will write 4 a plus b a minus b a square minus b square so that will be 6 minus 4 4 times 2 so answer becomes 8 this is our simplification let's consider question number 2 a b c non-zero real numbers a plus b plus c 0 we have to find out this i will begin with one straight away algebraic identity that is a power 5 plus b power 5 plus c power 5 i remember this one is over 5 whole cube b cube c cube over 3 then times a square plus b square so if we will write a power 5 plus b power 5 plus c power 5 value then we can write it is 5 over 6 then sum of cubes a cube plus b cube plus c cube times sum of squares a square plus b square plus c square so i will put directly here see if you want to prove this consider a square plus b square plus c square times a cube plus b cube plus c cube expand it collect a power 5 plus b power 5 plus c power 5 you will get this result directly okay now i will put this value in the given expression in this expression so let us put I will write a cube plus b cube plus c cube whole square a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 over okay so if I will take the square then it will become 25 over 36 in the denominator and then a cube plus b cube plus c cube whole square which term will be cancelled out times a square plus b square plus c square whole square now i can easily cancel these two terms now ultimately what is left that we have to simplify further a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 over 25 over 36 times a plus a square plus b square plus c square whole square let's begin with the a plus b plus c whole square formula identity so i can write here this formula we know a square plus b square plus c square plus two times a b plus b c plus c a. okay now it is given that a plus b plus c equal to zero so left hand side is zero this side is zero so what I can conclude from here that is a square plus b square plus c square value and this value will be equal to minus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a and let me call this is our equation number 1. I will use directly this result in next calculation. Now I will take whole square of this equation. So let us consider a square plus b square plus c square equal to minus 2 a b plus b c plus c a whole square now let's consider whole square if i will write here whole square it will be like this now a plus 
again apply the same formula i will write a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 plus 2 times ab so i will write a square b square bc so b square c square ca so c square a square now come to the right hand side it will be 4 times i will write here ab plus bc plus ca whole square now i will consider separately this expansion ab plus bc plus ca let me write here ab plus bc plus ca whole square let us expand so a square that means first term square a square b square plus b square c square plus c square a square plus 2 ab then a b square c b c so b c square a c a i will write c a square b once i will consider from last bracket only this bracket a b c common then in bracket i will be having b plus c plus a and which is as per problem this value is zero so conclusion is ab plus bc plus ca whole square is a square b square plus b square c square plus c square a square this is our result up to this point because next part is zero so this i will use here directly so let us apply so in this place i can write four times in bracket a square b square plus b square c square plus c square a square conclusion is a power 4 is now a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 is equal to 2 times a square b square plus b square c square plus c square a square now you can check equation number 1 so i will use that that is equation number 1 so how it will be first step i will use this one this equation a square b square let us apply first this one then i will use equation number 1 so i will write directly from here i can write ab plus bc plus ca whole square from this equation now we from the equation number 1 you can write here 2 in bracket it is minus a square plus b square plus c square over 2 whole square. So whole square means denominator is 4. So denominator will be 4. And numerator is a square plus b square plus c square whole square. And denominator is 4. Now you can see the relation between a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 and a square plus b square plus c square whole square why i am saying this because now we have to find out the value of a power 4 b power 4 plus c power 4 over 25 over 36 times a square plus this value i will write denominator is a square plus b square plus c square whole square now i will put value from here you can cancel this 2 and 4 denominator so it is a square plus b square plus c square whole square over 2 now this ratio is required here so i will write this ratio is equal to half over 25 over 36 so now i can cancel 2 and 36 so it will become 25 over 18 and we will take the reciprocal of the denominator's fraction 18 over 25 is our final answer i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck